All right. You got it. Uh, look, Margo, I, I gotta go. Talk to you later. Now, that's what I like to see. A woman who knows what she's after. And the pleasure is all mine. I'm you. Well, aren't you? No. No, no, I was just here by myself. Thought I'd come by and say hi. Right. <laughs> you think every man who wants to strike up a conversation with you is looking for something else? I think everybody's looking for something. Uh-uh, not me. I got everything I need. Like what? Mm, my health, enough money to get by, two friends, same as you. Well, you seem to know an awful lot about me. Mm-mm. For instance, what's your name? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's too fast. Huh? We'll just talk. What you said before, I, I look like a woman who knows what she wants. Mm. What did you mean by that? Blue plate special. Excuse me? You looked in the menu, caught your eye. Always doesn't joints like this. So? So, you took one look at it and thought, and it's always a lot of hype, never as good as it looks. So you changed your mind. You got yourself a cup of coffee. Nothing fancy, but you can count on it. Please, just a cup of coffee. I bet you opened a lot of menus in your life, picked out a lot of blue plate specials, and been disappointed every time. And how do you know that? Because it happens to me. People know how to live, let me tell you. Mm. Nearly ate me alive. But, of course, I never found what I was looking for. And what was that? A pot of gold, the big break, answered to all my prayers. And so now I'm driving cross country. I thought I'd stop here for a spell. Don't ask me why. <laughs> still looking, huh? Yeah. And I still haven't found it. Whatever it is. But you said you already have everything you need. Oh, and I do. But it's the stuff I want. <laughs> yeah, I got this feeling there's something out there just waiting for me. I just got to figure out where to look. Hmm. I know how you feel. I thought you would. Hey, I got a great idea. Let's get out of here and go someplace and just kick back. Now, now where exactly would you like to take me? Well, there was this cute little place across town I was at yesterday. Hey, nothing fancy, but it's different. With the blue plate special? Ain't so blue. No. No, maybe it's some other time. I understand. No hard feelings. <laughs> For the coffee. Uh, no. No, I insist. Till next time. Hey, hey, Jake. Wait a minute. No place special, and no expectations. <laughs> I don't know. You work. Couldn't lie. Oh, it's not a lie. It's a sort of a, a little, a little secret. Just a little one. I bet you're good at keeping secrets. What the hell? Lead the way, Jake. No, no, I insist. After you. I can get a decent cup of caffeine. Really? Well, I thought it was bourbon for the good old boy. No, now the good old boy spent a couple of months in tough. What do you have? Well, um, I, I think I've had enough caffeine for now. I didn't know they had one of these here. Well, a foosball table? Yeah. Well, I guess they just got it. You play? Hey, you are looking at the foosball champ of Muscle Shell Junior High School. Well, I see, I wasn't too bad myself back in Peachtree Middle School. Well, how about a game? I haven't played in forever. No, I understand. You probably... Oh. Got you. I guess you did. Get that coffee out. Well, you know, there's a wide selection. What do you have? You are the expert. I'll have what you have. Uh, two cappuccinos, extra sugar, extra cinnamon. I like my thing sweet. And spicy. Yeah, <laughs> that's you. But we have an aunt, Margaret, and her her daughter's name is, is Maggie Sue. And then my Uncle Eddie, he's got a wife named Peggy Sue. So when Molly was born, it was, it was just easier to call her Molly. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you always do that? Do you always go off on this riff about your family with a total stranger? Well, honey, where I'm from, talking about your people, just plain good manners. Let the folks know who you are. So, what's your cousin like? 
Well, for starters, she isn't nearly six feet tall. <laughs> She's very pretty. Dark hair, blue eyes. But can she play foosball? That's the real question. At least not the ones you play for fun. That sounds fascinating. Tell me more about this cousin of yours. This song. Now, how did you know I'd like it? This is my favorite, too. Hmm, actually, it was a happy coincidence. Now, you didn't tell me anything about your fascinating cousin, Molly. What I do know about her is she doesn't like to play games for recreation. Believe me, that's all you want to know. It sounds bad. Oh, is Molly the family problem? Hey, don't worry about it. Every family has one. Don't be shy. I could tell you stories about my sister's second husband and make your head spin. No. No, it's nothing like that. Molly is, is good people. She's got a good heart. Just mixed up. Gets herself into a lot of trouble. And why is it that I think that you're the only one who bails her out of that trouble? Okay. Present tense? Your Molly's in trouble now? I'm doing that. What kind of trouble? No. I, I don't want to talk about that. Bring me back to reality. Mm. In the real world, there's not some place I want to be tonight. Mm, where is it you want to be? You really want to know? Mm-hmm. Looking for a rainbow? Or the pot of gold at the end of it? Isn't everybody? Well, you and I are, but that's not everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I happen to know for a fact that there are some very happy people out there who wouldn't take that pot of gold if you paid them. That's just because they never can have it. Or they have everything they need right in front of them. A family, friends, kids, a 30-year mortgage, that's enough. Simple life? Mm. The good life. It's a dangerous concept, you know? What? Why is it? Well, I just stopped believing it. Like right now. Everything seems so simple. And so good. And oh, so right. Damn you, Jack. Ow. Did you really think I was going to... Yours? Oh, it's a good act, and you did fall for uh, it. Yeah, you're real convincing, Jake. Okay, you bought Jake Logan for minute one. He's one of my best. Oh, well, if he's one of your best, then your best doesn't con me, oh. G-Man. I knew that you were just trying to pump me about Molly. You didn't know squat. Well, you were trying to trick me into saying something about Molly that you could use against her. Okay, you're right. Partially. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get you to tell the truth about Molly, but you went for my act, whether you want to admit it or not. Yeah, if I did, then why didn't I say anything about Molly, huh? I didn't let you pump me because I knew what you were up to. Three more minutes, and I would have had you spilling everything you know about it. I'm sorry, Jack. It never would have happened. <laughs> the only reason you ever found out it was me is when we kissed. That's when it clicked. Get over yourself, Jackie. Nothing clicked. Oh, come on, Carly. I was there, remember? That's what happened. No. I know what happened. What happened is you thought you were playing me, and I was playing you. Oh, you were playing me when you kissed me? Like a fine violin. Uh, you know, being in denial is not a very good thing, Carly. Why can't you just admit it? What happened here tonight, that was real. There was something between us, and it had nothing to do with either one of our cousins. You wish? I know. What happened here was real. Not real. Carly, why can't you just admit it? What happened here tonight, that was real. There was something between us, and it had nothing to do with either one of our cousins. You wish? I know. What happened here was real. Not real. You know it's real? I saw through you tonight. And I always will. 